This video is sponsored by Linode. Use the link in the description to get a $100 60-day credit, and don't miss out on the other video in this series with the link on screen. If you've been following this channel for any length of time, you'll know that I am a huge proponent of Nextcloud. It's an amazing platform atop which anyone can self-host their way out of the proprietary Google and Apple walled gardens of cloud services. The fact is, you don't need Google or Apple or Amazon to collaborate on documents, run a survey, aggregate your favorite news sources, or stay connected with your team members. When you have a Nextcloud, you don't even need FaceTime or Google Meet, and you definitely don't need iCloud or Drive. With all that in mind, I wanted to review 10 of my favorite Nextcloud applications. So let's do this. Number 10, passwords. Now, password managers are incredibly important for your security, but if you're still using your browser's built-in password manager, you're only halfway there. Password managers like Nextcloud Passwords give you far more flexibility and allow you to securely store not only passwords, but security questions and more. It also has a companion Android and iOS app and web browser extension. I only have two complaints about passwords. The first is that it requires upgrading your PHP install to a later version sometimes, which some people might not know how to do, and that the browser extension sometimes has issues autofilling on the page. But other than that, Nextcloud Passwords is awesome. Number nine, Video Converter. Nextcloud is primarily a file storage application, first and foremost. So it's natural that my team and I would have our video files stored on the server. One of my editors lives in an area where there aren't many choices for ISPs and consequently has a very bad internet connection. So I upload all of my files for him to edit and then I have Video Converter transcode the files for him to download. Then he'll download those smaller transcoded files and when he's done, he'll just upload his Caden Live project and I'll replace the transcoded clips in his project with the originals. Though it might sound a little complicated, it is a simple and straightforward process that would be far more tedious if it weren't for the video converter app. Number eight, Breeze theme. Now, before I needed glasses, I never really appreciated the value of dark themes and the designer in me still feels like dark themes are objectively less appealing than light ones. However, since I've gotten glasses, I've ended up using dark themes with much more frequency. So when I was looking for a Nextcloud dark theme, I was surprised to find that KDE's Breeze was available for Nextcloud. I happily applied it to my Nextcloud instance and I haven't looked back. Number seven, right click. Now this one is just a quality of life feature, if I'm being honest. Each file in the files app has a menu that you can access by clicking the more icon here. The right click app makes this menu accessible by right clicking on the file. It works exactly as you'd expect any context menu to work, and it makes me very happy. Number six, forms. One of the killer features of Google Docs has been the ability to make a survey and then have the results broken down for you. If you want that feature, but you don't wanna to have to pay the privacy price for a Google account, try Nextcloud Forms. This relatively newer app lets you create a feature-rich questionnaire to send to your friends, family, staff, or the wider public. You can have respondents use checkboxes, radio buttons, drop downs, text answers, dates and times, and see the results in real time. Another simple quality of life improvement is app order. This app lets you change the order of applications at the top of the page. This can be done as an admin and set site wide, or it can be done on a per user basis. App order just goes to show that there is a spectrum of apps for Nextcloud, some of which can be huge and make sweeping changes, while others just let you adjust the app order at the top of the screen. Now, it's no secret that two-factor authentication is a smart idea, but did you know that you can actually configure Nextcloud to use two-factor authentication as well? Now, you can use something like a one-time password provider, which is a very simple and straightforward thing. You can register your phone, it's very easy, uh, but it's not just one-time passwords. You can also use universal two-factor devices like a YubiKey. To do so, enable the appropriate app and then go into your security settings. From there, you can register whatever device you want, be it a smartphone with a two-factor app or a universal two-factor device. Number three, Collabora Online Code Server. Now we've talked about how forms and surveys are a killer feature of Google Drive and how you can get that same functionality inside Nextcloud. But the other feature that everybody knows about Google Docs is collaborative document editing. And it shouldn't be a surprise that Nextcloud makes this a cinch too. All that you need to do is enable the Collabora Online built-in code server, if it isn't already, and then open a docx or other office file. From here, it'll give you a familiar interface where you can not only edit documents from within your Nextcloud, but you can send links to colleagues and get work done together and convert documents into different formats. Number two, news. 
So much of the work that I do now for Heavy Element is done using our Nextcloud server. And between writing and coordinating with my writers and editors, research and staying on top of news is a huge part of my job. That's why the News app, an RSS feed aggregator, is so important to my workflow. It's really been a lifesaver. Instead of having to go through many different websites and parsing their bespoke layouts for a top headline, I can just scan through a single aggregation of my favorite news sources. It makes life so much easier. Finally, number one, deck. Now, as I mentioned with the news app, staying coordinated with my employees has become quite a time consuming process. That's why we started using Nextcloud Deck. It's a Kanban style organizational tool that lets us propose ideas, assign tasks, keep tabs on our documents, and stay in communication on each task. Deck has absolutely revolutionized the way Heavy Element works, and I could not be happier with it. I want to give an honorable mention to Nextcloud Talk. Now, I didn't write this into the actual script, but Nextcloud Talk is a great way to stay in communication with your team. You can send links just like you would with Google Meet and have people join in their browser. No need to download a client like Zoom on your desktop. Now, I want to give a special shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Linode. Linode is the premier independent cloud computing platform, and if you're anything like me, they're the only ones to trust. Linode is committed to making it simple for you to carve out your own little niche on the internet, no matter your skill level. It doesn't matter if you're looking to deploy your own self-hosted WordPress instance, or if you're familiar with more advanced tech stacks, Linode will help your ideas come alive online. You can host a personal server, like a Nextcloud instance, for example, or maybe you're a web designer and you want to show off your work. Perhaps you like to run your own personal VPN or a game server. Linode's got you covered. Plus, if you need scale, nobody does it better than Linode, where you can easily resize your plan on the fly to meet your needs to serve as many or as few customers when demand hits. And unlike other entry-level providers who try and lock you into their platform using proprietary technologies, Linode gives you full access to the backend to customize and control your server however you need to. Plus, the Linode Cloud Manager has all the tools that you need to keep everything running in tip-top shape from the DNS manager, which allows you to manage your domains, to the cloud firewall, which gives easy access to manage all ingress and outgress from your Linodes in one spot. And if you run into any trouble getting set up, Linode comes with amazing 24 seven customer support by phone or ticket, along with hundreds of guides and tutorials to help you stay up to date. Some of which I wrote. Sign up today at linode.com GB and get $100 60 day credit on your new Linode account. Link in the description. I want to say thank you to my friends on Patreon and YouTube who make what I do here a reality. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to do this, so thank you. If you believe in the work that I'm doing and you want to see this show grow, consider pledging your support with the links below. Well, I think that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Hit that like button and leave a comment to let us here at Heavy Element know what we're doing is good or even bad if you don't like this type of video. Make sure that you subscribe to stay up to date with all the cool stuff that we're doing here on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day and I'll see you next time.